Welcome back to the channel to our loyal viewers and subscribers and welcome to all the new viewers. Now in today's video, we are going to take a look at the once feared Tivoli strongman, Christopher Dodo Squawk, otherwise called Prezi or Prezi Day. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at some documents where Dodos I beg the US government to let him out early and the man him say, yo, no. We are going to also show you some video footage of the prisoner in which Dodos is being held in New Jersey. So stay tuned, because you definitely don't want to miss this video. So most people must remember back in 2010 when an extradition order was placed on Christopher Dodos Court by the United States of America. He was apprehended after a fierce battle with members of the JDF and JSF in Jamaica. After the smoke clear, a 73 person on record life was taken. However, Dodos escaped the incursion of the Tivoli Garden. He was later arrested in the company of a well-known Jamaican pastor. He was then extradited back to the United States of America where he faced charging of racketeering. For those of you guys who are not aware, racketeering includes drugs crime, trafficking crime, both trafficking in human and firearm, and also being the head of a criminal organization, which is a shower posse. So when Uncle Sam sent Vinodos and get Dodos, he was convicted on June the 8, 2012 in a federal court in a man in New York. He was sentenced for 20 years for the racketeering and 3 years for the assault. So those charges is to run consecutively, meaning he now going to serve the two sentences at the same time. He going to do the 20 year and then him do the 3 year for the assault. And those sentences, the only word he stand up and said to the court, I'm a good person and he do a lot for Jamaica. But the judge then said, regardless of all of the good way you do for your country, the bad way you do out to you, all of the goods. So the judge ended up giving the maximum sentence for the crime when he committed. Dodos case didn't went to trial, Dodos plea guilty. Because if he did take on this federal government, he may get life imprisonment. So he just take the plea deal and take it 23 years. A part of his plea agreement was that he won't appeal his sentence and he accept it and then ship him off to prison. But now that he reached a prison, from him reached a prison in 2012, him start ball and start make appeal to the court and to the higher court in our country. I seek to them review back him sentencing because a whole lot of things. So I'm gonna show you some document in which he make application to the court to reverse his sentence. But the federal government make him know that straight apart your plea agreement say that you're not gonna revise the sentence or you're not gonna appeal the sentence where you get. So you don't know where I come up with this now. And from Dodos you are jail. Almost 10 times now, he appeal for getting case thrown out or for getting a lesser sentence and them let him out. And each time he make the appeal, them turn it down and them state the reason as to why them turn it down. So if you look on your screen now, you can see a document in which he make application for get them sentence moved. However, the court denied it and them give the reason as to why they denied it. In this document, it state why he want him case to be thrown out or why him sentencing is not accurate. So as I can see in this document, it states that Christopher Cook and it says versus the United States of America, the respondent. It says order Christopher Cook move pursuant to 28 U.S.C. section 2255 for an order to vacate him his sentence. Claiming his rights were violated because one, his sentence was based on inaccurate information that he obstructed justice. Two, he was not present at his resentencing. And three, his sentencing was based on inaccurate information that he had committed a loss of life with an axe. The document goes on to read the government opposed the motion, arguing that the claim are time barred procedurally barred, waived by operation of the plea agreement, and fail on the merits. So basically, man, I say, yo, remember the plea agreement where it's signed, you know, when you have your sentencing, so you're not going to appeal this. 
So how now you come with all of them and answer the story here and talk about this and this and that? Man, them say them don't want to hear that. He goes on to state, the court has reviewed the party's submission thoroughly and for the following reason, denied the motion in its entirety. So the man them don't want to hear no argument as the way you feel like that or what you are saying. They have to serve out the sentence, they us, and that's it. So the background of the document state that on August 31st, 2011, Movan plead guilty. The Movan are basically defendant, which is Dodos, pursuant to the plea agreement to two counts, information that charged him with racketeering conspiracy in violation of such and such, and conspiracy to commit assault with a dangerous weapon in aid of the same racketeering charge. So if you go down to the next slide, you can see it said, as part of the plea agreement, Movant agreed not to file direct appeal or collaterally challenge in section 2255 application any sentence within or below the stipulated guideline range. So as we said before, do not sign them right because you have, as, a, as a criminal or as a convict, you have the right to appeal any sentence again. But based on fame plea agreement, just because he never want to get life in prison, he signed the plea agreement and now he might come change him words and say, he want back. He's like he might appeal by the sentence when he don't agree with him now appeal again. So the man them say, Dodos have to serve between 262 to 276 months of imprisonment. And at the, at the sentencing hearing, they ask him if he understand where am I signed to? And him say, yeah. So, oh no, you want to change your room, change your mouth for the man them thing. If you don't serve your sentence, they does. So, the document goes on further to read. On May the 22nd and 23rd, 2012, the court held an evidentiary hearing pursuant to US that for them court to resolve a dispute over the Movans' use of violence to control Tivoli Garden, the Jamaican neighborhood where some of the charges conduct a court. Yo, America is easy. Yeah. America charge a man for things what happen in a Jamaica. Not Pandera land, you know. In a Jamaica, things when crime when commit in a Jamaica, they are charging for the you know, federal government. So the document state that at the hearing, what we just talked about, the government cooperating witness testified that the movement had among other things dismembered and decapitated one of the victims with a power saw. So these are the witness, you know. We are testifying against Dodos in a court, you know. I said him dead and sick when time Dodos them dismembered a man with a power saw. And also take the life of two other with a small axe. Morvan did not testify, but his defense calls the cross examine the government witness. On June the 8th, 2012, the court sentenced Dodos to 276 months of imprisonment to be followed by four years of supervised release. So as I said, Dodos signed him plea agreement and then he will go back for him words. And the man will depend on you, will depend that. As I said, almost 10 times Dodos tried to appeal it and each time he appealed it, them turned him down. Since Dodo's sentencing, he's been held at three federal prisons. That's two maximum security prisons. However, in 2017, he was transferred to Fort Dix Federal Prison that are in New Jersey. So I'm going to show you guys how Fort Dix prison stay and which part the setup as the old Dodo stay. Fort Dix is a low security prison. Basically, it's a dam. You know, one of them big open places there where no Irish prisoners are there. Pay a little waste man, they pay a little sex offender and pay a little person who already come out of the maximum security prison and they try to transition back into society.
To know that you guys see the video and you can see which part done us there. You realize say, uh, it's like a vacation in there. But yet still in my ball for come out. The man always say you know, if you can't do the crime, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. And Dodos was a strong man in a Jamaica. Who well respected and people afraid of him based upon the level of fear where he instilled in the community. And now him there want a low level of prison. And I like to say him there the maximum security prison with dangerous criminals. Like what El Chapo them there and certain man. No. In there this low level, low security prison, like a dormitory, you can walk around and do basically anything where you want. And in my ball for come out. No make no sense. Serve the time, man. However, Dodos is slated for being released from prison in a 2030. So basically, seven years from now, Dodos can touch back road and come back to Jamaica when he's 60 years old. So, now that we reach the end of this video, let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. If you think them should have let out the dust or what. If you like the content, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section and see you in the next video. Like I always said, remember to hug your loved ones. If you guys reach the end of this video, basically you guys interested in what I am saying in the video. So if you want me to give a full breakdown as to the dust case in America, you just leave it in the comment section. I'm definitely with no oblige.